The goat of backpacking chairs finally has a competitor. All right, let me be crystal clear in this video. This is not necessarily a comparison between these two chairs. We're really gonna be talking about this one that I've only had out on three trips. And I'm gonna tell you why I think it's a pretty awesome chair and why I think this chair has a lot to worry about. I've only made one other video on this entire channel about a backpacking chair, like a full video. And I did it about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago now, and I said this. It's been like five years and nobody seems to be coming out with a better chair. So if you're a manufacturer out there, uh, this is your opportunity to make like a bajillion dollars. Just beat the Helinox Chair Zero. Somebody's gotta do it eventually. Well, it finally has a contender. We're not gonna get into a lot of the details on this particular chair, it's the Helinox Chair Zero. It's been out for a bajillion years. It's a fantastic chair. It's been my go-to chair, only because nothing's come up that's better. Enter the Nemo Moonlight Elite. Now, I don't know if they made this chair as a competitor to that chair. I'm sure they looked at that chair, researched that chair, and decided what they were gonna do differently on this chair to make you want this chair more than that chair, but let's jump into this chair. <laughs> First off, let's talk about this sort of case that it comes in. Um, it's got a little buckle here. You just undo it, unfold it, and the actual chair is right here. Now this is the case that wraps around the chair, but this is sort of a dual purpose case, and we'll get to what this does in just a minute and whether or not I think this is worth taking out on the trail. So right away, this is gonna look pretty similar to other backpacking chairs. It's gonna snap together like other backpacking chairs. But this particular chair does have some unique design features to it that make it pretty different. Okay, so the original chair that they sent me was a prototype chair and there was one big difference between that chair and this chair. It did not have this little tag that said bottom on the chair. And I set it up incorrectly. I actually set the bottom at the top. It's, you know, if you don't have that on there, it's hard to tell which way this goes. And it snapped when I sat in it. So I sent off that picture to them, told them what happened, and they said, oh, we've seen that in testing, and so we've added this little tag here. So make sure this goes on the bottom. Now, what's unique, is it's got sort of these molded, kind of rubbery plastic corners here that snap onto this little ball in the corner. <laughs> We've made two videos today, <laughs> and they're still chopping trees. We don't know where they're at, but they're still chopping trees. <laughs> we're gonna roll with it. This is probably the worst that's ever been. <laughs> this is probably the worst that's ever been. <laughs> yeah, we're in my backyard. All right. So gray goes on the gray in the bottom here, just to make it even more obvious for you. One thing that I do like about these corners is that as you're sitting in it, it'll kind of swivel and keep comfortable. Super, super lightweight chair. This chair actually reclines and you just sort of squeeze this and pull it back and forth and it reclines really, really easily. And so you can adjust where you want it these cords are made of a DCF and some other type of material. Emmett's gonna put all the specs up on the screen uh, about this chair, because me and specs, we just don't get along. But this is a really strong cord. I would not be worried about this snapping at all. This chair will hold about 250 pounds. And we're gonna give it a uh, comfort test uh, right now. I'm gonna sit in it, and then Emmett's gonna sit. Have you, have you even sat in this chair yet? Nope. He's never even sat in it, and he's gonna tell me uh, his experience, because he's also sat well, he's brought the Helinox on a bunch of trips. Trip. Yeah, like every trip ever. So I'm interested to hear his honest opinion, what he thinks of sitting in this chair. Yeah, uh, just wraps up around you. I found that uh, people that have sat in this chair that are pleasantly plump tend to find that a little uncomfortable, uh, but I don't find it bad at all. It's just, you know, it's what I'm used to. So let's uh, jump into this one here. This one is more comfortable, for sure. And you can adjust the back. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I do like that. You just squeeze and move this up and down and it sort of adjusts. This is definitely more comfortable. I don't feel like it's squeezing around here at all. I like this chair. I feel like I'm sitting up higher too. It's a little taller. 
That's kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, it is, to me, it's noticeable. I'm, I'm interested to see what you think, I mean. This one just feels taller to me as soon as I sat in it. Maybe it, it's hard to tell. Maybe I'm, you know what it is? I wonder if it's, I don't know that the chair itself is taller. I just think this material is up higher, so it feels a little more. Here, let me, let me, let me, let me grab the camera. And then you, 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 can, you can try it, you can try it. Me and the tried and true sat in this chair probably a hundred times. So, I mean, it's definitely a nice chair. I'm comfortable. I don't think it hugs the sides, um, but yeah, let's try the new one. I feel more supported. Oh. Is that like, is that crazy? Right. Or uh, I, I don't know. Like this one, I don't know. I feel like I sink into a little bit more, which like isn't horrible. But this one, I don't know. It feels like I'm actually sitting in a chair with a decent amount of support. One more feature to it that we should uh, test out. I'm going to show what the case actually does. Ooh, interesting. So the Helinox is actually a lighter. I said I wasn't comparing them. I kind of feel like I'm comparing them. Liar! Yeah, whatever. We're sort of comparing them. This chair is a lighter weight chair. Um, this chair is slightly heavier. Again, we're going to put the specs on screen. Um, the case is about three ounces for this case, but what the case does, so um, if you want them to be about the same weight, you're just gonna bring the chair and the legs, and that is about the same weight as this whole chair with the uh, stuff sack that it goes in, so keep that in mind. But this chair, I didn't think it was a big deal just to sort of keep it like this and just wrap it up, and then you could use like a little rubber band or a bungee around it if you wanted to, to you know, keep it all in place. Or you could bring this case, which is a nice case, but what's really cool that a lot of people don't think about, and you know, I think Helinox actually sells a pad for this chair just like this, but this actually goes into the legs of the chair so it doesn't sink in the mud. So, just like that, let's test it out, because I did not bring this with me out there. Should I try to dig it in the mud? Let's try to get it down in the mud. And I, my backyard's muddy. We've been pulling it out of the ground. The stress test. Like if I fall asleep at camp. <laughs> this is what he looks like. Eighty <laughs> percent. What? Just sitting around. <laughs> and it. Bring me my food. You know, you forget what this chair feels like. I mean, this is not an uncomfortable chair. I wouldn't have, you know, used it for so many years. But this chair is way more supportive and way more comfortable. <sighs> Okay, so here's the downsides to this chair. It is a little bit heavier, and um, the included pad is something that I'm not always gonna bring. You know, if I'm in areas where I know there's not gonna be mud, I'm not gonna bring an extra three and a half ounce pad. This chair all in is $180. This chair is $150, but if you wanted that extra pad, I don't remember what it costs, but we'll put it up on the screen for you. But I gotta guess that they're probably gonna be about the same price all in. And this one includes this pad. This could be the GOAT. Dare I say? That's, I, that hurts me to even talk about. Dude, I've been through so many of these chairs. They've been in fires. This one's even cracked a little bit on the bottom here. You can see we've sat in it so many times. I mean, it, this thing's been through the ringer. <sighs> I don't know, man. This, that's a tough call. I'm gonna start bringing this chair out on more trips because I really like how this feels as compared to that one. I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean, you gotta sit in it, I suppose. <laughs> oh, this is an REI exclusive right now. You can only get this at REI. So I'm gonna put that link in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. If you wanna buy it, whatever, go click on that link. Um, eventually it'll be up on other websites, but, uh, and it also comes in a different color too. But yeah, what do you think, Emmett? What do you think? What's your, what's your? I, I'd have to sit in them more to really be sure, but I like that. You do like this one? Do you think it, it, does the heaviness bother you? No. No, not, not, not. And you could be like, you could, you could be like sit up, eat mode, or you could be like camp sleep mode. Yeah, like lazy boy mode. Yeah, lazy boy mode. <sighs> I really like this chair. This could be it, folks. This could be it. Well, that's what we got for you. So we'll see you guys in the next one.